right, this is Lynn with Lynn's Hangouts, and we're here today at a very special place, Audio West Recording Studio, to check out some audio video work for one of our bands, Rockin' Down the Highway. And today we're chatting with Tommy T. Bird King. So thanks, Tommy, for hanging out with us. Hey, Lynn. Hi. Thanks cool. for having me. Oh, very, very special day for us. So. so you're the front man, the lead vocalist, the keyboardist, the harmonica player for Rockin' Down the Highway. Almost a one-man band. <laughs> Uh, That's pretty impressive. Well, almost. <laughs> almost. You're almost there, huh? <laughs> well, you started playing piano at age six, moving on to perform professionally since the mid-60s. So tell us about your musical progression. Well, let's see. Um, the piano. My, my dad was a jazz musician here in town. And nice. Uh, said that I had the touch and the feel and the ear nice. for um, piano. Okay. But I was just six years old, so... Uh -huh. I wasn't able to hear what I was hearing on the radio. I couldn't mm -hmm. couldn't produce that same guitar sound. Oh, okay. Um, which is. Uh, but age six, why would you expect to? You probably did, but others didn't. Well, you know, <laughs> he wanted me to play jazz, oh. which was so I had to learn to read and and then, you know all the dialogue and, yeah. and what have you. And my teacher had a heart attack oh. after about two years and. My dad asked, uh, do you want me to get you another piano teacher? And I just wanted to play, yeah. you know, oh. outdoors. So I said, oh, no, yeah. no. Worst mistake I think I ever made. I said, well, keyboard player, piano player today is in high demand. Yeah. And the highest paid of in the, this scene and genre uh -huh. um, of all the musicians. Usually the only one that really knows music. Oh. And, you know, what have you. So, um, in fact, we were talking about that earlier, about all the different components that the brain has to comprehend to play the piano. Definitely the most difficult instrument. You yeah. have two staffs, a treble for the right hand, a bass clef for the left hand, and a lot of times the left hand is doing something completely different than the right. right. And it's the only instrument that demands that. Oh, right. So, and then if you're singing on top of it and... Like you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, That's true. Um, that's what I mean, one man, one man band here, you know. Well, I'm uh, not that good, no. Uh, oh, let me shower you. <laughs> let me shower you with compliments. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry? Let me shower you with compliments. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Woo, it's getting it. warm in here. <laughs> That's great. And 1964, a um, friend of mine came by the house in the first day of summer and said, um, have uh, you heard about the Surfer Brothers that moved into town? And I said, yes. And they told me they had a swimming pool. So I told my mom, I said, we're going swimming. <laughs> I walked in the house and I looked out. I was all excited. They got a diving board. Yeah. And then I looked the other way in the house and here's amplifiers and a drum set and guitars. Wow. I said, wow, you guys got a band? And they says, well, my drummer, my brother is the drummer and he quit. We need a drummer. And I says, I play drums. I've been taking lessons, which I had been at school. Nice. And they said, you're our new drummer. Wow. So that was a surf band, um, all instrumental. We didn't have a PA system. Oh, wow. And it was called the Vindicators, and we played for the school, and we played wow. for the Moose Lodge, and, and uh, we were thrill. well rehearsed. What a thrill at that age. The guitar the player band. was in the seventh grade, I was in the eighth. He could <laughs> pick with his teeth, play behind his oh, back. Oh, wow. Um, and it was, uh, my dad helped us out a lot. And, oh. The, um, so that was the first band, if you will, Yeah. and I was 12, Aww, I guess. sweet. And then uh, from that I got some recognition and was in several rock bands during high school. Nice. One all original, um, that was uh, quite creative. And then uh, it's just through the years, a lot of cover bands, uh -huh. um, paid my dues in the bars, uh -huh. um, yeah. worked, um, work, been working in the Sacramento area. You did pick up some jazz. Oh, yeah. You do some jazz. Well, my dad said, um, if you're going to learn to play the drums, if you want to be a successful drummer, yeah. you need to learn to play all the different styles. Oh, right. And I said, Dad, I just want to play rock and roll. Yeah. And he responded with, obviously, you didn't hear the keyword <laughs> successful. <laughs> That's cool. So as the years went by and I continued my lessons, um, and then following the doors and what have you, which did a lot of different styles. Right. and. I learned to play all the different and country and very you know, cool. So well rounded. Uh, uh, well, yeah, even now in rock and roll, it's they through the years they've incorporated all the different styles of different True. bands. Um, 
so yeah, it, it, it was just some of his advice. My father shared with me, he started playing professionally in 1927. Wow. At the age of 16, he left home. Wow. He did 28 months of one-nighters in a row, oh. on the road, in a so different geez. place every night. Wow. Again, this is 1927 when yeah. sometimes they had to wire ahead for money, enough money to get there. To get to the next place. A lot of times they'd end wow. up playing just for food. But through all that, he shared with me through the years a lot of the inside stuff that takes a lifetime to learn and wow. unfortunately some people never do. True, true. Um, you had a head start because of him. Um, I wish I would have listened and oh. asked more. Well, that's you know. youth. <laughs> yeah, so I got the play. <laughs> well, uh, thank you. It's, um, um, you know, you always like to think that there's there's more. Yeah, You know, yeah, what, true. what's, um, what if, you know, and what have you. Right, and right, true. That, that stardom stuff went away a long, long time yeah, ago. Yeah, you learned that one fast, huh? <laughs> you know, I'm happy just to be uh, in a successful band that um, is, has gotten signed. That Absolutely. Um, and well, let's talk more about that. What's the story on how you formed Rockin' Down the Highway? Rockin' Down the Highway was, um, I've been working as an agent um, since um, 98, I think. Mm -hmm. Wow. And uh, I hooked up with Tabletop Productions, which is George Gosling. Um, I introduced Jackie Green to him. I was Jackie Green's first agent wow. the first year yeah. before Monterey Peninsula Artists signed him. Wow. Um, Jackie went on to open for all of their bands, which was Huey Lewis and B.B. King and all that. Wow. And, um, <laughs> Very cool. The um, Working with George, uh, he had some of the better bands in the Bay Area and here in town. And um, I, I, I learned a lot from him. Oh, I, I mean, a ton. Not only I about bet. the agency work, but uh, what it takes, what, what to market it, to sell it. Yeah. Um, you know the the uniqueness of mm. the different bands. Yeah. Um, the show. You know. Yeah. The entertaining part of it. Right. Um, the the smiling. The, yeah. The fact that. If we're having fun, they're having fun exactly. type idea. Yeah. You know, I, yeah, I've lost. Yeah, that's priceless to learn. <laughs> anyway, uh, George had all these different ideas, and um, I came up with uh, maybe an Almond Brothers tribute. Oh. I'd been working with a Southern rock band um, for the year. It was successful on the road. The um, and we decided the Almond Brothers, for whatever reason, you know, with two drummers and a B3 Hammond and not quite enough hits right. wasn't the tribute he was looking for gotcha. so um, the um, I was in my car and rocking down the highway from the Doobie Brothers came on okay and it just clicked what about a theme band that's all about the biggest hits from the biggest bands on driving riding rolling and cruising oh, nice. and so I approached him with that and a list of songs that had to do with the theme, he right. came up with a bunch more. Nice. And we've modified it over the years on this works, this one don't work, um, what have you. And um, wow. so it's it's a repertoire of, of hits, yeah. you know, the format that. Um, Love it. Love it. Love that has changed songs. over the years. And then, uh, then we started doing. Well, we did Rockin' Down the Highway and we did um, Long Rain Trunnin, a, you know, a rolling song. Uh -huh. Those always got a good response, so then we decided since we took our name from the Doobie Brothers, why don't we do a tip of the hat? Oh. So we added three more songs to it, and that got a great response. Wow. And so then we decided, well, why don't we just do include a Doobie Brothers tribute? Yeah, absolutely. And we introduced that last year with a... Um, and this is actually the first year that we'll take it on the road. Oh, nice. We've nice. already had it in several of the casinos. Uh -huh. um, I saw you at, uh, at Thunder Valley. Thunder uh, Valley, actually, right? Yeah. Uh, it's, that's taken us as far as Elko, Nevada, yeah, nice. Sparks, and yep. up into Eureka. And, Very cool. You know, it, we, we do a lot of traveling. It's a traveling yeah. band. Yeah. The um, Chase the Money. Yeah, yeah. Chase the, the uh, Dream. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's, Living it's the dream. <laughs> every weekend it seems like uh, somewhere different. It's an adventure. Yeah. Gets you out of town. Yeah. The um, And it's nice to be spoiled, to be recognized, yeah, you know, no that doubt. after absolutely. all the years of paying the dues in the bars. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, how did you assemble your team? Assemble the team? Yeah. Um, how did you find I, your, I, your, your, your crew? <laughs> actually, They're so cool. They're so good. This is the first year that I'm working with the same players. 
um, two summers in a row. Nice. The, uh, I think a lot of the response we get is that it's a different presentation. It's more of a show than... Right. Um, it's not a cover band. <laughs> no. No, no not, not a all. cover Definitely band. Definitely different. We work the theme. Yeah. And yeah. we work the Doobie Brothers tribute. It's, for us, it's more about crowd participation. And, oh, yeah. And, you know, getting them involved, showing them a good time, yeah. and making them feel part of. Yeah. The Mike philosophy for years has been, you know, everybody wants to be in a rock and roll band at one time or another. Right. So why not let them, yeah. even if it's just for that one night? Have their moment in the sun, absolutely. And, and, and you do that. You do pull the audience in. I love it. it I absolutely love it. Well, you know, I'm getting old. I get tired. You know, let them sing. <laughs> let them you know? sing for a while. Yeah, let, <laughs> hey! let them sing along. And like you said, I, I read it, actually, that you feel a show is a success when the audience sings along. I think so. Yeah, you know, I do it's, too. I get, you know, it's not about me. Um, the guys in the band, I pick guys that are real appreciative, oh, hard awesome. working behind the scenes, uh, come prepared, enthusiastic, right. that are good showmen, mm -hmm. that are fun, they smile, right. and they're there with the same philosophy as me as yeah. um, just show the people a good time. Right. You know? And it's a good combo. It really works. It's so much fun. I love your, your gigs. I love to come see you guys. Oh, thanks. I love the fact that you let me do fun things like this. This is just so cool. My good Betty. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. I mean, and, and we were talking earlier, and you were telling me about some trivia, and I'd love to capture that on film here. Well, you had some great trivia about the, the musical families. Oh, the, um, oh, well, okay. It's, um, <laughs> how it goes is, uh, I, I've used it in some of the gigs when uh, somebody breaks a string or what okay. have you. For example, the um, trumpet and trombone is brass family, mm -hmm. the violin and, and the string bass or string family, the the um, saxophone and clarinet would be the reed family, drums and congas or percussion family, mm -hmm. um, the flute is wind, mm -hmm. so where does that leave the piano? Mm. And uh, ponder. <laughs> yes, and uh, it's actually a percussion instrument. Wow, because? Well, the mallets, as you're touching the keys, the mallets are striking strings and it's puts it in the percussion very family. Very cool, very cool. Sticks or mallets striking something. Yeah, so. and I wonder how many people got that right. Uh, well, that's the fun part of it. They all, you know, yeah. everybody wants to know. Yeah, so, a lot of people would pick the strings, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah, um, because it has the strings. And it seems real obvious because of the, the string board behind it. Right, you think, but you're right. Um, Without the mallets, you would have no sound. So, so it, very it's, cool. Yeah, I a difficult that. instrument, but a lot of fun, and no yeah. way have I mastered it. Oh, but you entertain us so well with it. So well, I'm glad you like very it. Very cool. I do. Thanks. I do. Well, thank you, Tommy, for a wonderful interview. This is so fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, I, you know, I hope you enjoyed the recording session oh, here at Audio West with it was Eddie Edsel. Priceless. Edsel. Yes. This is he is not Eddie the best, Stoneboard. the greatest guy you've ever met? Oh yeah, he's amazing. Absolutely. I want to get him on video. Yeah, we <laughs> One can. of these times I will. You know, I, every time I come in here, I stare at, at the equipment that anywhere from the '60s, the '70s, the '80s, '90s, yeah. all the way to this to 32 this. channel. Yeah. It's it's incredible, it and he's and he's amazing. so fast. Yeah, yeah, he knows very knowledgeable. On there. Yeah, I don't know. If very you, impressed by him. You got the wall of. I got of, that earlier. I'll have to get some more of that. Yeah, that wall is amazing. Over yeah. the last forty years, yeah. man. Just such history right there. And Thank Eddie's you, touched a lot of a lot of cool people. So. <laughs> and he's done and it us all. too. So. <laughs> so thank you again, Tommy. Thank you.